Welcome back and happy International Carrot Day to everybody. Yeah, it's actually a thing. I looked it up this morning. It's actually a little bit past International Carrot Day, but according to the clock here, which doesn't seem to want to update, it's still International Carrot Day. So getting back to my home switch conundrum, I did manage to get it, but what I had to do was update to the latest and greatest Linux CNC version 2.9. So to get that, I went to my preferences, I go down to my Synaptic Package Manager, put in my Pushword. Oh, make sure Wi-Fi's turned on. If no Wi-Fi, then no password. So the package manager loaded up. Under settings. Suppositories. And I added these two lines here. Buildbot.linuxcnc.org for deb and deb source. Distribution was Buster, and the section is Master dash RT preempt. So at the bottom, you can see right here you have the option to choose Deb or Deb Source. You put in the URL, you put in the distribution, and you put in the section. Once that's done, hit OK, do a reload, and that will reload all of your suppositories. And then from there, I could search for Linux CNC. Being that I already updated it this morning, it's probably not going to show me a brand new version, but... Ron, if you're watching, this is for you, buddy. Okay. Okay. So you see right here, actually, there was an incremental update. Cool. So you can just right-click and either hit Mark for Upgrade, or you just do Mark All Upgrades, and then Mark them, and then Apply. While it's chugging along, the change that I made after I installed 2.9 Under good old Genie, there is a new INI flag called home underscore index underscore no underscore encoder underscore reset. So using this in conjunction with the home use index will give it the ability to home against a mechanical switch, back away, find a pulse on a proximity switch, and utilize both of them for your home returns. I'll close that out. I'll wait for packages to finish installing. Pause the video and I'll come right back. Okay, so that's all done. Closed it out. Load my software. No other major changes needed to be done. Enable the machine. So from the last home, I've got an indicator on here. I just, nah, I just knocked into my belly, so now it's not going to be perfect, but whatever. So we're looking at one freedom unit. Back my X-way a little bit. Now I'll go to zero return. X home. Hits the switch. Finds the proximity. And returns back to the freedom unit. So if I back it away far, far, turn it off. You can see where a good ways away. 
Reload software. You'll hear it. It clicks the switch, makes the procs. So it's pretty repeatable back to this half a thou line anyway. If I zero return it with it on the actual switch, it'll just do a little shimmy shimmy. It backs away off the switch, it makes contact, sneaks itself in until it finds the proxy, and it repeats back to that location. I I've tried this numerous times, and it seems to be very repeatable. Maybe off a hair just from the angle, but... To show, go to here, go to my pins, go to deep, deep, deep into the inner cavernous lurkings of the 7i76 configuration. I'll show my inputs 4 not, inputs 5, input 30, and 31. Right now, 31, you see it's triggered. The reason why it's triggered is because of the one pulse per revolution count. So every time the Z axis goes around one full turn, two and a half millimeter, it will trigger this to go on. Same thing with the X. So the X is enabled on both the switch and the prox. Go back here, go into 100 thou scale. And you can see I jogged it off 100 thou, which is 200 on the diameter, and it breaks the contact of both of these. When I go in zero return, X home, hits the switch, hits the switch, finds a prox, sets a zero. No funky moves, no uh, no pulling my hair out, no ladder logic. So thank you to Dewey Garrett for pointing that out to me. That was very helpful. That got me through what I was looking to accomplish, and it seems like I'm getting a repeatable result. Much more repeatable than the mechanical switch. I would um, I would bet that just on initial testing, when I was using the mechanical switch by itself, I was off by at least four thousandths, which is about 0.1 millimeter. So, very, very happy with the result. Much happier than I was with the mechanical switch all by itself. Happy that it was nothing more than just a, a basic addition of something that I guess somebody, somewhere, somehow, someday found a need for, and they put it in. So thanks to the developer that added that, or developers that added that. You guys are freaking awesome, because now my machine works the way that nature intended, because both of these came factory set with mechanical switch and a proxy on, or a proxy next to each of the steppers. So I wanted to... Have baby the way nature intended. And I did manage to do it with an AND gate. But I didn't really like the robustness of the AND gate. Because if the pointer finger was already in the uh, receiving hole here, triggering the switch. All it would do is it would just back away until it found the first pulse on the prox. Which was not what I wanted. I would have to actually jog the machine out and then bring it back in. So this uh, this alleviated that as well. And it, whenever it senses that it's on a, a switch, it'll back away from it and then sneak in on it. So that's cool. So yeah, I'm very happy with the result of that. I'm just glad that it was something as simple as just a software addition. So um, anybody who's looking to use mechanical switches in conjunction with a with an index pulse from either a proxy or some kind of encoder and you're not using full closed loop if you're just using step gens that was kind of the reason why it was doing what it was doing because the step gen 
would fire up knowing that zero was here. It would go home. It would find the index, but then it didn't know where to go because the step gen wouldn't wasn't resetting or something like that. It was a whole back and forth this morning with uh, emails and stuff with the developer team, and they were very helpful. It's just that <laughs> they weren't giving me the answer that I wanted until I got the until I got the clarification as to what was going on, why it was doing it. So now I understand. So for the future, if you're using step and direction, and you will have uh, an encoder or would be encoder pulse. And you want to do it this way with the mechanical and the procs or some sort of encoder, that's how you do it. You just change that one thing and make sure you're on the 2.9 master branch. So thanks for watching and we will see you soon.